Okay, so question 16, um, it starts talking about vectors, but it's really just getting you to evaluate people's methods. So there's a question about vectors, and then there's a question about expanding brackets. And these kind of questions seem to come up a lot in this set of mock papers, so maybe that's an indication that they might come up in the um, actual GCSE, I don't know. But for question 16, he's trying to go from B to N, and we're told that B to M is in the ratio 1 to 2. So this part here is 1, and that part there is 2 of this line in the ratio 1 to 2. So evaluating Charlie's method, going through, he's perfect all the way through up until he gets to that point. Because here, the distance from B to M isn't half of the distance from B to C. So in the ratio 1 to 2, it's 1 out of a possible 3. So here, he should have used a third instead of using a half. So all you need to put to evaluate Charlie's method is that he should have used a third. And then that would get you the mark for that part. The second part of this question is talking about expanding triple brackets. Um, gives you the brackets, gives you what answer he gets, and asks you to explain why his solution can't be correct. Um, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either expand out these brackets fully and simplify it and show that it's a different answer to what Martin got and that would get you the mark. Or, making it easier for yourself, if we just looked at the constants at the end, when we multiply those together, we're going to end up getting whatever's on the end there. If I look at the ones here, we've got 1, minus 3 and 2. So I need to do 1 times minus 2, so times minus 3, times 2. So 1 times minus 3 is minus 3 times it by 2 gives you minus 6. So he got plus 6 when it should have been minus 6. So all you needed to write for this explain why Martin's solution can't be correct is that he should have got minus 6. Minus 6, not 6. Or not plus 6. And that would get you the full 2 marks for that question.